Hi, my name is Felix. I'm the CTO of Alpha Omega Technology and I consider myself a LoRaWAN enthusiast. We run the IoT Shop DE, Germany's biggest web shop for IoT hardware and 95% of what we're doing is LoRaWAN. I've been doing this for the past three years now and I've seen the market change. From small proof of concept installations with a few gateways and some ideas developed with dev kits with housing from Tupperware, we're seeing bigger rollouts now with a huge number of gateways and thousands of mass produced sensors. And all the things we always told our customers became true. No vendor lock in, relatively cheap hardware and batteries lasting for years. However, all the time I missed something in the market. And then last year we had enough and we said to ourselves, let's just make it. And today I'm not only showing you the product we made, but the bundle we made it to make it the easiest solution to get energy consumption over LoRaWAN so far. This is the Klax bundle. It consists of the TTN indoor gateway. I think you all know this one. It's a simple LoRaWAN gateway with Wi-Fi backhaul. And because of the basic station protocol, it's very easy to use. And our Klux device. I will tell you more about the Klux in a moment. You'll also find a quick start guide in the box. And because everyone hates typing, we've put the keys there as QR codes. So, what is the Klux? Modern energy meters in Germany are required by law to have an infrared interface for data transmission, which also by law belongs to the customer. That means no one is allowed to block you from accessing that interface. The interface is a standardized serial interface that transmits usage data. There have been multiple projects that try to gather that data using infrared interfaces with Raspberry Pis, and most of these worked great. What we didn't have was a small battery powered device that read the usage data and transmitted it wirelessly. That's why we developed the Klux with our partners. The Klux is mounted via a magnet and every 15 minutes it wakes up and starts reading the serial data stream it receives. It's looking for the measured values of the energy meter in this data stream and saves them internally. Every hour it starts transmitting those values. So let's have a look on how we can use the Klux on the TTN network, shall we? We're skipping the part where we activate the thing's indoor gateway because there are a lot of videos out there showing that. At first, you'll need to add a new application. Give it an ID, I'll name mine Klux underscore TTN underscore bundle and use the description Klux TTN. I'm sure you can think of a cooler one. Then click on Add Application and your application is ready. The next step is to add the app EUI of the Klux to your application. Click on Manage EUIs and remove the automatically generated one from TTN. Find the app EUI from your bundle and add it to the application. Then you can add your Klux to your application. Click on the Devices tab and choose Register device to add the credentials for your Klux. You can use any device ID, but you'll need to use the device UI and application key from your bundle. The application EUI is already correct because you entered it earlier, remember? After you've finished that, your Klux will be able to communicate with the TTN. You can also schedule downlinks to configure your Klux or simulate uplinks to test your integration. The Klux will send the usage data that it gathered from the energy meter in its payload. However, to make use of the Klux data, you'll need to decode the rather complex payload of the Klux. But don't be afraid. In our step-by-step -step instructions, 
you'll find a link to the payload description that will give you all the information you need to understand the payload. Here you can see our step-by-step -step instruction. And the payload description. Apart from the usage messages, there are a lot of messages for you to configure the Clux and for the Clux to show you how it is configured. To make things even easier for you, we have a GitHub repository where you can download a Clux decoder to use with TTN. Simply copy that parser from GitHub and paste it into your TTN console. After that, you'll be able to see decoded messages in the data tab of your application. This is the Clux, ready to be attached to an energy meter. When it gets in contact with the meter, it is felt firmly in place by the ring magnet that is mounted around its infrared sensor. You can then put in the battery. The LED starts to blink and will show you whether it can read the data stream from the energy meter and whether or not it is connected to a LoRaWAN network. Now you can look into the TTN console and receive your first messages. You'll see the join messages and some status messages. We have sped up this process here a bit because, like I said, it measures every 15 minutes and it will only transmit after four measurements. So this will take about an hour for your clock to transmit the first usage data. It is pretty cool to see the usage data from your meter rolling in over Laura 1 TTN. However, to be honest, that's just the first step. You'll need to have a platform that stores the data and makes it analyzable by drawing charts and giving you sums for different time periods. For our example, we're using Datacake. Their powerful but easy to use platform is a great way to visualize and work with the data. Soon they will add native support to their platform for the Clux. To add your device is pretty easy. You'll need to activate the webhook integration in t your TTN application and configure the URL for Datacake there. After that you just click the button, choose API and add your device name. Choose the TTN integration and enter your device ID and give Datacake the field mappings to your payload. Through the power of editing, I can show you what it looks like after a while. We have three KPIs here defined for our Clux. Here you can see the energy consumption today from yesterday until this time and for the last hour. These charts and KPIs are highly customizable. There are a lot of different diagrams and you can define formulas for your KPIs as well. That way, you can create cool-looking dashboards in no time and have an overview over your data pretty fast. That's my presentation so far. 
Let me finish by showing you a few of the other meters the Klux can be used for. The Klux does fit on and can communicate with these devices. Heat meters from Landis and Gear, Siemens and Minol, volume correctors for natural gas from Churchler and RMG, and Honeywell Elster meters will be next. There are a lot of devices that can be read by the Klux and there will be more to come. Just contact us if you need information for a specific device. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat or contact us through our website. I hope you found this presentation interesting and I'd love to hear from you.